All right, Justin coming live from South Florida. Uh, behind the fronds there, you can sort of see my Dipsis pembana, uh, which I guess now is uh, Chrysalida carpus pembanus. And uh, the one of the uh, flower racks inflorescences uh, has females that have been opening for about two days. And I already coated them with some fresh uh, teddy bear pollen, uh, but uh, once a little bit, once about two thirds of them are open, I want to hit them one more time with some pollen. Uh, so what I've done is I pulled some more uh, Dipsis leptochilus teddy bear pollen out of the uh, refrigerator, excuse me, freezer. And here it is here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open up this bag and keep it outdoors here in our humid Florida weather uh, to let it rehydrate for about 24 hours. And then we will um, apply it to the inflorescence. So I'm just going to kind of open it up. So just keep the top open here. Just fold the backs like this and just simply leaving it on a table here outdoors uh, should help it rehydrate and defrost because it's been in the freezer for about four months and it's um, been dehydrated with silica gel so it needs to be rehydrated. Okay, it's about 24 hours later. Um, have uh, my bag of Dipsis leptochylos pollen here. Uh, it's around 10 30 11 o'clock in the morning um, generally uh, bees are most active between uh, 9 a.m and 11 a.m uh, and that's when the female flowers the pistillate flowers uh, tend to open uh, on dipsis palms or in this case chrysalidal chrysalidocarpus palms hard to say so if you look close at some of these females uh, right there is a good example. You can see the nectar that's coming out of them to attract bees, which means that they're receptive to pollen. Uh, this um, Pemba palm probably uh, is receptive for half a day or up to a day. Um, and right there, you can actually see where the droplets of nectar are coming out of the sides of the flower. And sometimes that's not a good sign. Uh, that means that the it's it's so warm that the flowers are opening and excreting nectar prematurely uh, before uh, the the tip of the uh, uh, pistillate flower, the pistil, is is going to be receptive. So that's why we want to just coat this thing with as much uh, donor pollen as we can. Um, so that it has pollen available for when each female opens, whenever that may be. Uh, you can see how I have some jute twine wrapped around uh, the inflorescence here. I call this the date palm method. This is something that they do in the date palm industry. And what they will do is take uh, male pollen or male flowers and, and tuck them up into uh, this inflore inflorescence here. And, uh, and then tie and wrap it. And what that does is it allows the pollen to congregate and clump and, and be contained within this whole tubular structure here, as opposed to it being fully open, it, it's harder to get pollen to coat everything. But when they're all tied and wrapped together tight, it just, it holds the pollen better and leads to better seed set. And this is something that they do in the date industry. So I'm gonna mount the camera right here. Uh, so I switched to this uh, newer sprayer here, uh, same liquid suspension, and we're just gonna kind of finish spraying this here. There we go. And for today, I'm just gonna spray the bottom half of the inflorescence. And there's so little water in here that it's hard to get it all out. Okay. So all that pollen suspended in water is kind of dripping down and hitting this inflorescence. And I'm just gonna hit the bottom of it today. Um, I've already applied pollen to the, to the top part here by hand, and I'm just gonna see if that can set. So I'm just kind of hedging my bets and doing the bottom portion of the inflorescence here. Um, and now I'm just gonna kind of let this dry, put the mosquito net bag back over it, and you can see the previous batch, or previous infrudescence here um, that I pollinated several months ago. 
uh, has some seeds that are ripening finally and out of about three to five thousand female flowers I might have a dozen or fewer seeds and this this uh, in fruit essence is crossed with um, dipsis to carry so this is pimbana crossed with the carry eye and I'll be lucky to maybe get half a dozen viable seeds and I hope that all or half of those sprout leading to just a few seedlings so very low yield in this game